Every year at Solon we're able to offer some of our best students on the Popular Music Performance course a chance to record at Abbey Road Studios, the world famous studios best known for the Beatles, Pink Floyd, hundreds of other famous artists. We're able to take them for a day's recording in Studio 3 where they'll record one song and then we bring it back to the university studios and mix it at a later date. We hold a live gig to select the most suitable band to take to the studios and this year it was a band called Flatland Wolf who seemed by, the, by our own standards the best group to take who would get the most out of the experience of going to somewhere like Abbey Road. <laughs> So who I am, uh, I'm Kieran and I play banjo in Flatland Wolf and today we're off to Abbey Road to record our song Fire tomorrow with the unit, it's going to be good. Uh, <laughs> what, um, <laughs> what, what noise, what, what do you call an item of footwear that's got a bad cold? <laughs> a shoe! I know, uh, it's tough isn't it, I won't say all week. Once everybody's assembled at Abbey Road and has had enough coffee to uh, get them through the morning, we start by setting up the drum kit, which obviously takes the longest time. And I think this year we ended up with almost 30 microphones just around the drum kit. So it's quite an intense affair and we have to listen to the drummer playing and hear what those microphones actually sound like. Then we'll set up the guitar amps, the bass and all the other instruments. Then we'll go for a run through where we'll have the whole band in the one room at the one time. Now that may come, that may give us a fantastic performance, so we may be able to use certain elements of that, maybe the drum part. So then, once we've got the basic track laid down, we'll then go back and record all the instruments again, individually. We'll add the bass and build up the rhythm section, then the guitars, then the banjo, all the other instruments. Then we'll put the voices on, and finally we might put on the, the lead vocal, so the, sort of the icing on the cake at the end of the process. Then once we've got all those elements together, um, we can attempt a quick mix, or get at least the engineer can do us a quick mix before we leave, and then all that material is put onto a hard drive, we put it in a case and bring it home back to Solent. And there's a wall that really pisses me off because it's, it's kind of difficult to have here. some reason going it up is just bloody difficult. Yeah. It's really hard. I'm just going to let Craig pop. While Tony and I are trying to get the best performances out of the students, we leave the recording process and getting the right sounds, the very best sounds they can generate, to our very famous engineer Sam O'Kell, who is one of the in-house engineers at Abbey Road. Sam's incredibly experienced and in fact just before we'd uh, come this year he'd, done, he'd worked with Mumford and Sons and uh, various other acts and he's worked on lots of big film scores. So he knows how the studio works from top to bottom. And what that means is he's incredibly quick. Now what that means also is that this, the session itself runs smoothly. So that he never has to worry about how any of the equipment works because he knows and he's already second guessing exactly what happens next. It's kind of cheesy but I just, it's kind of, it's kind of, oh yeah, it's Abbey Road and you know, there's the crossing and all that kind of thing and you come in it's like, oh yeah, it's amazing. But when we, when, you know, I really started playing today, I just felt like, okay, wow, it, you know, it really is that good, it, you know, it's, it really does live up to that hype, mm. doesn't it? Just, you kind of look around and think, you know, I'm recording at Abbey Road, wow. You're definitely a bit nerve-wracking just because so many famous people have been here and it's like, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, come nothing in and like have a job to do. So. Yeah, nothing like ev anything we've ever done. So, yeah. 
darling I beg you that I must be told The winter time is coming and the nights are growing cold Fire is burning through my soul I still got my ambition but I'll be growing old My spine I'm getting cold in the night So wake me up in summertime I'll be Sorry for the lies I sold I don't want to clean the windows I won't shovel Why wouldn't you want to take Students to Abbey Road? It's the most famous recording studio in the world. The Beatles, of course, famously recorded there and every big band since. It's the best work experience and musical experience we could offer to our students. The bands compete for an opportunity to go and record there each year. And we take the very best musicians that we have. And of course, it's a life-changing experience for all of them. I was really nervous actually. I was like, oh, I'm going to mess up the harmonies, but um, it was fine actually. It feels so nice being in a massive room. I've never recorded in a room this big. Yeah, it's like a hall or something. To be honest, I didn't know what to expect, because kind of, you never, because yeah. you can't film anywhere, so you don't know what's inside, but yeah, but yeah, everything's just exceeded my expectations. It's massive. Yeah, Amazing. me too. Yeah. <laughs> Recording at the world's most famous studio has got to be a life-changing experience for most of these students. And hopefully it's something that they'll take with them and remember forever. And uh, not only that it'll be a fantastic memento of their time at Solon, but hopefully it will spur them to working in the industry and maybe even recording at Abbey Road again.